Welcome back. Heroes. Yeah. yeah. Still yes. heroes. <laughs> so far. You so fought the Dao, mm -hmm. successfully defeated it, mm -hmm. made your way through the rather straightforward section of traps, um, set off most of them. Mm -hmm. Good job, good job. Uh, took very little damage, though, so, you know. Yeah, that was all me. <laughs> Well, I mean, you, you set them off, but uh, you stood in them. You know, if it's anyone's <laughs> going to stand in the poison cloud, it should yeah. be a dwarf. Right? That's true. So, That's true. good job. Then you snuck up, saw light at the end of the tunnel in the mine, and you heard this jaunty tune coming from a music box. Enjoy. Then you snuck around the corner, saw the box in the middle of the room, lid open, crank turning, hearing the song, and then behind it, zap holding the Green Mother hostage. There's a dead pixie on the ground. You raced in, trying to negotiate, but you'd already had a plan. You've cast spells. Okay. You snuck in. You have skipped through the room, <laughs> uh, right up next to that music box, which knocked you out, down to zero hit points. Important I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> You have learned a very important fact about this music box. <laughs> no. And now, FG. are you ready to roll? I'm yes! yes! Oh, sure, let's ah! do this. Okay, so reminders of your initiative order. Elendor. What's up? Zup. <laughs> <laughs> Alany. Sanguina. Seno's next. And then after Seno, Rurik. And Arn. You have done some damage, right? Two's up. So you know uh, approximately what kind of a strike you need. And he's currently stunned. And you roll an advantage when you attack. Yeah, okay. Um, so Seno just kind of starts walking forward, kind of slowly and focused, and you don't hear anything. Uh, but I speak directly into Zup's mind uh, once I'm within 30 feet. And uh, I tell Zup, I'm very disappointed in you. So you want to be 30 feet? Yeah, about 25 feet from him, uh, obviously avoiding his box. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just clarifying. I tell Zup, I'm very disappointed. You pretended to be our friend. And you betrayed us. There will be no tolerance. And I uh, release my hex and raise my hands, and you can see the tattoos on my palms start to glow, and even my uh, violet eyes glow a little brighter, and kind of black veins come out from around my eyes, and uh, lightning bolts, purple lightning comes from my hands. And just, uh, Comes up towards Zap, and we'll see if I hit him. That's terrifying. After that lead in, it would be shocking if it didn't. Fudge uh, Muffin. No! Oh, wow. 13? Uh, it seems to fizzle rather than connect with him. But it looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I figured that might happen, but you know, I always roll badly on Witch Bolt. <laughs> I'm in a cone of s s s silence, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm dead, and I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So, anything else? You have a little bit of movement left. No. <laughs> it looked real cool. Huh? Burk! Uh, I'm going to hug the outside of the room a bit. Okay. I have no idea. Um, you are... Okay, so 25 feet, as far as I can go. Okay. Um, and... Uh, I bring up my hammer, and as if I'm striking, and then point it up and say, Focus fire! I cast Guiding Bolt. And... Bold. Flying forth advantage? from the hammer. You have advantage. Uh, 21. 
The guiding bolt connects. His form frozen as he's stunned. Aaron, you're on deck. Getting there. Takes 12 damage. And this is kind of pointless now because we're already at advantage. Uh, but Zup is glowing. Cool. Yeah. What color? Uh, red. Yeah. <laughs> so he's glowing red, which would normally give the next attack to him advantage. You can't double up on advantage, right? Nope. Yeah, well. <laughs> Good try, though. Uh, At least, um, uh, it looks great. Still a nice touch? <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> All right. Looks great. Dude. And, uh... Now he's terrified of the person who just spoke into his mind and glowing red. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know why he's terrified of me. I spoke into his mind and then fizzled a bunch of magic around him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I can do. Aaron! I am going to take a javelin off my back and I'm going to launch it right at the motherfucker. I still have advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, shh, shh, oh, shh. Eight. Eleven. It's my proficiency bonus. The javelin goes wide and it seems to fly right past him and then into a strangely person-shaped size crack at the back of Oh, fuck, did I just kill a bystander? <laughs> you did not. You just hear it clatter against the mine walls. Okay, well, that's okay, because I got five javelins and two attacks! Except for this one, is... I'm going to knock the shit out of that fucking little music box. Is your, is your javelin just a plus three or is it a plus six? I, have, I didn't, I was rolling for hit, not no, for I, damage. I, I, I have mm-hmm. five javelins. No, I know, but in your oh. action section. It's a d6. Not no. for damage. Hit DC. What is it? Or hit DC. Plus four. Quick check. Mm-hmm. I always forget to add the plus seven. It still plus goes five, though. So that was a 15. No. Okay, well, we're going to... Okay. You can move... Abduct... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you can update the numbers moving forward. Yes. What just happened stands. Yes. But that wouldn't have been. Okay, so now you're aiming at the box. Music box. 19 plus yeah. seven. 16. Okay, so you're going to aim... And with the attempt at what? You grab a javelin, you pull it, it connects. It just knocks the box. Does it like go into the box or shatter it or? It knocks the box off the, it tumbles and more. Shatters? (laughs) It doesn't shatter. Does it stop playing? No. It's laying on the floor, open. It continues to play, but there's now no one around it. Oh, well. She gonna pop back up? Now we can get a sanguine. Am I safe? You don't pop back up. You are still at zero hit points and unconscious, but you are no longer within the 10 feet radius of the music box, which lays on its side and the crank is attempting to go and then hits the floor and then winds itself again. And now the tune that plays is terrifying. Mm. That's bad. It was scary enough, I had to make it scary. It changed key. Instead of being a consistent (laughs) tune anymore, it now halts and then races forward and halts and races forward. It's very unsettling. I'm unsettled. Sorry, that was my reaction. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Elendar! Okay. Um, Unless you have movement, Arn. Ah, uh, yes, I do. I'd like to start walking towards Zup, because my next two attacks are going to hurt him. You approach. Elendar! Okay, uh, I am going to um, attempt to uh, pick up the green m- m- mother and pull her away from Zup. You can accomplish that easily, as she is out and on the ground. Okay. Um, and I'm going to move uh, my full movement back uh, while staying clear of the music box. And you're as you carry her? Yeah. So your movement speed will be reduced carrying yeah. another elf? Yeah, so uh, is that half? Yeah. Okay, so t- 22 feet. No, 
Huh? I'll screw around. Yeah. Uh, it'll be, it'll be okay, so up here against the wall, you drop the elf next to Senos. Okay. Um, or maybe not drop. Gently set her down, <laughs> or you're still oh, yes. gonna hold her in your arms. I'll let yeah. you describe this. She's yeah. already beat. Boy, she can't feel anything. Yeah. Um. Is uh. Is that my full action? T- to pick her up and. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that is. Do you, are you gonna hold on to her, or are you gonna set her down? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to her. Still. Okay. Yeah. Elendar, as you carry the Green Mother, the Elf, in your arms, battered, bruised, you move backwards. Her head in your, the crook of your arm, and you look down, Seto, to see her. And she looks similar to an elf you knew once, but much older, but a wood elf. Long, gray hair streaked with green, but just the way that her features are shaped in her ears. It's almost as though she's from an area that you might know. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Zup's turn. Now, is... Oh, he's, he's losing it. That's the end of your turn? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Brace yourselves. <laughs> he's in a 20-foot... Uh, Zup is coming. Cone of silence. Cone of silence, and... Give me one second. Yes, let's refresh ourselves on where we're at with his... The conditions around him. So the cone of silence is how large? Uh, 20 feet. Okay. Centered on a point you choose within range and creature or object entirely inside the sphere is immune to thunder damage and creatures are deafened while entirely inside it. Uh, casting a spell that includes a verbal component is impossible there. Um, it doesn't say whether it's attached to a person or an object or not. It just says... It says a point. Yeah. So if it doesn't explicitly say... So I guess it's the point that he's standing and not centered on him. Although I would like it to be centered on him. Wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't we all? Can't pick a spot on his clothes. (laughs) With an opportunity to act suddenly free of the stun and knowing it was you. And as you carry the Green Mother, he races for you. With the dagger in his hand. He's gonna stab at you rather than the green mother in your arms. He reaches out for you. Oops, there was the pencil! It's an 18! 18. 18. 18 against your armor class! 18 hits. I mean, Oh, we don't take as much damage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you take five points of damage. And is he outside of this? How far did he go? He only moved 20 feet. Like within 20 feet? Yeah. Then he's still silent. It's still silent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then he will bonus action disengage. Outside game question. Shut up. <laughs> uh, because he was already at disadvantage, we had advantage on the rolls up until he was frozen or unfrozen. Yes. Uh, would the next attack have eaten up the guiding bolt advantage? Regardless? Because when I cast guiding bolt and it hits, the mm-hmm. next attack does the stack drop? Advantage. Oh, I see. Uh, I think you just lose it. It fizzles. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Uh-huh. Wah, wah. Okay. <laughs> so, it's on the run. Mm. Uh, to the wall. It was a, a whole oh, back person back. size. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, please. Unable to speak anything at the moment. Shoot his Achilles heel so he can't flee. First, I run over to Sanguina. Achilles tendons. Oh! Tendons. Oh! Was a what? Oh! Wait, wait. Back up. Go, Alany. 
Okay, first I run over to Sanguina. <laughs> and I... I crouch down and I lift up her head. And I bite down into my, my wrist. And put my wrist to her mouth. To give her some blood. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, settle down, settle down. Come on. Ah. Jesus. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, it's your lipstick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're method. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, damn, girl. Jesus. Oh, oh damn. And uh, to give her, to give her enough to wake up. Do I really only get one hit point back? This is so dry. Um, but uh, I thought so. is that my? Would that be an action? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Things a vampire. Then the next thing I do is, I just grab my longbow back in my hand and stay there with Sanguina until I can do something else. <laughs> <laughs> I can't but do anything else. you were able to race over to her. Yeah. And bring her back so that at the start of her turn. She does not need to make a death saving. Nice. That's right, I don't. But you are still down and prone, so it's half your movement to stand. Uh, and you have one hit point, so. Sh sh okay, uh, I'm going to use half my movement to stand. And you get unsteadily to your feet. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty steady. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, take my uh, my D10. Roll my D10. Because I'm low health. Remember? Mm -hmm. You gave me that. Five. From when you're. This one is special though. What? That's when you drink blood, yes. Oh, so I would have to drink more Valenie's blood? Yes. In order to You'd have more. to take another dose. Mm. <laughs> is he still close to me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna bite him? Is Wait there a action? Do you have a healing potion or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> just, saying, you know. just, just settle for a second, team. So. Drink. Okay, so okay, I get I the get, vampire. Right. I'm gonna take one. Feed her blood. Two D four plus two. She then hops to her feet, snarling your blood all over her teeth, and she looks to you as though she's going to jump for you and bite you herself. So but instead, just pours down my chin. We're not alone. <laughs> and then I remember, oh, Ami, thanks so much for the help. I actually, I have, um, I have healing potion. It, it's cool. Okay, it so, time. six seconds. Yeah, you, do it. I take my healing potion. It's an extra nine hit points. That, or uh, an extra, yeah, I regain an extra nine points. Hit points! Yes. And I guess that's my action. That's your action. Uh, but you are now standing and no longer unconscious. Where's little shit? Down by the wall. Stay away from the music box. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Is that my full action? That's your action to take the healing potion. Okay. And uh, you would have half your movement left because you used half your movement to stand. Okay. Uh, I'll. I'm going to move towards Seno for the rest of my action. Seno. That's right. There. You post up between Seno and Aaron, just in front of them. Ah, Jesus! What the? F <laughs> I have blood all over my mouth. <laughs> I'm back, bitches! I'm back! <laughs> Seno, you see the vampire race towards you. The blood on her face. It's your turn. As Zup is running. Ah, uh, well, I mean, kind of pissed off that my witch bolt didn't connect. So I just sort of sulkily cast Mage Hand and <laughs> knock the lid of the music box closed. Mage Hand. Oops. It was a very scary music with a very not scary sound at the lid. Slam shut. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> there is, the gears stop turning and there is suddenly no music and just the sound of a bit of wind racing in from the back of the room. Mm. And you can hear it as Zup's footsteps. 
Well, he can't hear anything from his footsteps, actually. He's in a cone of silence. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I know, it's he's so just... awful. All of his spells have verbal components. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Seno! Question, so where is this 20-foot thing? Because is it inactivating all of our spells? Uh, it's nope. around where he was here. Where he was first standing. Okay. So it's like Just this. outside of it right now. You know, you know what the best move it's is? The clump. Shot. Yeah. Clump yeah. is the best yeah. move. We fear no AOE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the warlock's turn, the music box closes. Yeah, I'm done with my actions. Awesome. You can't grab them with your little mage hands. The mage hands action is done. It's on your Verric. Verric and then Arn. You can move forward. Yeah. The, the box is closed. I know. Okay. I just, I have 25 feet despite not being a dwarf in size. Dwarf. Um, yeah, move shuffle. with the weight of gravity like dwarf a dwarf. Shuffle. It's a cultural shuffle. Here we go. Six seconds. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, I move my full 25 feet towards him and again, say, don't let him get away. Focus fire. That's got him both again. So, red fire shoots out. Towards his red glowing form. Uh, no, he's not glowing yet. But Didn't he glow from last time? Dissipated oh. last time from oh. last time. Oh, so yeah. yeah, but he'll glow again if this hits. Uh, because his back is turned, do I get advantage? No. Bye. Have it your way. You're still aiming at the same thing, whether he's as your magic spell, whether he's facing you or not. That's true. Didn't need it, 26. Oh, well, boy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, good. Two ones. Okay. You went on a journey uh, just there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does 12 damage again. Uh, and now he's glowing red, and whoever hits him next has advantage. <gasps> Yeah. Until the next person hits him. Just the next person. Da, 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 da. Your axe in his way. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm done. And he's spent. Put it forth. Moving forward. forward. I say, oh no, you don't mustard man. So and you move. I swing hard with my longsword. With that fantastic. As he's trying to run away, the long sword. It might be okay, but what is the roll? That is a hit. Yeah. Take him out. Do I roll for with attack advantage as well, or for damage? No, no, no. Sorry. Just roll your damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll damage. Six plus four, ten. Ten damage. And then I'm gonna come around for a second. Attack. Also with advantage? No, I think yeah. it wears no. off. <laughs> 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 no! Not my advantage! Seven. Oh. Eleven? Mm-hmm. Seven, yeah. Total? Yep. The yeah. second one glances off some leather along his side. You're not able to connect. Damn it. You can't make that face. Every time you make that face, I think you're botching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst. That's a botch face. That's a botch face. Elendor! Okay. Uh, I, first, I must stand so, so that I can see where everything is at. Oh, yeah, 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 um, <laughs> You're still holding the green mother, too. Yeah, uh, will it cost me an yeah, action to put her down? As opposed to dropping her? <laughs> Just like, no. Nah. Uh, it's an action to, like, gently put her down. I don't know, like, if you just, like, blam, like, let her go. Drop the bitch. What do you guys? Drop the elderly no matter person. what we think, it's your call. Uh, I think it's an action to put her down. Because it's like an armful of... Human. Oh, elf. I thought he put elf. her down last yeah. time. He said he no, he decided to stay hold, oh. to hold on to her. Yeah, yeah, I changed, I changed my mind. I changed uh, my mind. Drop the um, druid. Because yeah, you're standing there with an armful of druid. so good. In a soiled cloth robe from her days I am going months to, in the prison. I am going to uh, put her down gently. 
put her down gently on the ground. And then I'm going to look to Sup. You see him. The I'm paladin right I'm behind going him. To use my full. Her sword is a full movement. And I'm going to uh, get in between him yes. and the d- 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 door. Thank you, Elendar. <laughs> you race right in front of him. Yeah. My hand is on my spear, but my spear is not yet drawn out. Um, and I believe, on account of me not having any key, that is my action. And this is still silence? It is. I don't have to. <laughs> I just have to go. <laughs> and you race in front of him, blocking his way, blocking the escape. He turns to you with his daggers. My attacks. <laughs> no, it's these two fingers. Very silent. <laughs> Dirty. No, no, it's not. It's Matrix. <laughs> From the Matrix. I do the two. It's a twenty-two. I'm so against your armor class. class. Yeah, it's tw- yeah, hits. He just does the. No. You nasty. No, that's uh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's a I am <laughs> not. You are fully. You wish you were nastier than you could be. Wish you had game. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, Sorry. We you can't take even ten points of damage. Ten points. Ooh. You take ten points of okay, damage okay, okay, okay. No. as the dagger jams into you. Oh, you're not doing so good there, kid. Oh. I'll be all right. Okay. Is that Zup's turn? It is Zup's turn. Wait, that wasn't Zup's turn? That's that, on his turn. That was oh, it's that his was, Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, <laughs> now he has some options available to him, but his way is blocked, and so he's a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> um, and he yeah, will... I take those cuts pretty bad. <laughs> yes. But silently. Silently. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> Let's keep the monk in. He the will attempt to shove you out of the way. We'll try. We will try. This will be like a grapple. So. Opposed? Uh, yes. Uh, strength? In this case, yes. Okay. Uh, saving throw or just opposed checks? Opposed checks. Okay. okay. Uh, ooh, alright. All right. Eight. Oh. He has a negative strength and rolled five. Yes! yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I uh, brace myself, expecting him to be stronger, and then he's like, no. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. The small human in front of you, in the silence, after stabbing you with his dagger, he comes around with his other arm and he attempts to just shove you out of the way, and instead meets the wall. That is the monk. Yeah. Monk wall. Back around to <laughs> Alany. All right. Um, I take a few more steps to my right so that I can make sure Arn's not in, in directly in front of me. I can To your up. left. Yeah, keep going. Right there is good. And then... Uh, Thank goodness that box is closed. Yeah. And then I lift up my bow, not your narrow. 21. The first. Nineteen. Damage. Nineteen damage. And then I it drops. Mm-hmm. Like out? It's out. That arrow is enough to knock him. Out. If you hit him with another arrow, we're gonna figure out if it's enough damage total <gasps> that he dies. <sighs> so, that was 19. Mm-hmm. That'll be the rest. So you don't, you just see him fall with the first one. Do you sling the second arrow? It's a trick, shoot him. Trick, 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 trick. <laughs> you wanna kill him? Nope. Yes. You gotta make kill him. yourself. You can hear them shouting, but if you, you don't, shoot, I will. I'm going to shoot directly at his knee in hopes to incapacitate. You lose this next arrow. What's the damage? Is he on the ground now? Yes. Well, that's a disadvantage. Oh, if he's prone. Uh, yeah. If he's prone? If he's yeah, prone, ranged attacks are a disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, so I roll it again then? But my hammer is at advantage, right? 
Oh. So yeah. should I roll twice? Oh, roll twice. One thing. What did I say that was? Uh, that's 17. 17. <laughs> that's it. Finish him. <laughs> 17 damage. Yes, Good 17. Job. Okay. Zuff is unconscious. He's been knocked down to zero hit points, but not enough to kill him permanently. Mm. So now you have. You are all out of combat. I think we should tie him up. Yep. Okay. Your question is, do you want to revive him or let him bleed out? He's a magic man, though. Tie him up if we first, tie him up, is he going him. to be able to stay tied up? He if can we... tie him tight enough and gag him. Doesn't he, can't he cut cast a magic off. spell and have himself disappear? He's so, gonna bleed out. Cut his hands off. Tied. Because you guys are all have different things that you want to do now. You're faced with a room full of things on the go. We're going to go around the circle and just get a quick check-in, what everybody wants to do first, starting with Seno. Uh, I want to go check out the box that I closed. Just Seno moves box. over. Yeah, you do it. Uh, investigate it, I guess. Roll an investigation. Uh, 18. It is a small cube with a bunch of writing on it that is all in uh, a language that you recognize as a local dialect of Chermios. Cool, what does it say? It says all the words of that very dirty song. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful, I was hoping this song. Oh, I, was yeah. praying for this. I will put them in your notes. <laughs> <laughs> and not say them out loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not for everyone's ears. <laughs> well, you, you're going to be like, tell me, tell me. I really want to know. <laughs> you can read it in the notes. Okay. So the writing all over it is the lyrics to that song. Wonderful. Moving around to Sanguina. Just a question. If I rip some of my flesh off of my arm and I squeeze my blood into his mouth. <laughs> no! Fly that says fly no! That's like, come? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the you fuck? Saw that. <laughs> wow! Will he turn into a vampire? Uh, you don't know. You have, you've never tried it before. Alright. Uh, I'm going to walk up to him. I'm going to stick my foot on his throat. I'm going to stare down at him. I'm going to spit in his face. And then I'm going to walk to that little hole in the wall that's human shaped and investigate it. Okay, so you walk past Zup, spit on him. I think we're gonna suck his blood, get some health back. Listen, that's what I was thinking. Just do it. It's just gonna kill him. He's down to he's down to bear. Do it before I decide to cave his head in. Yes, but don't cave his head in. Let's talk first. Well, if you're gonna cave his head in, I want his ear. I was thinking about it. Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) You move over, spit on him. You're looking into the hole in the back of the mine that he almost escaped. Exactly. I stick my head. uh, I stick my mirror. Attached to my, my, my stick to and it's I stick dark it down there, but you can see. 120 feet in mm-hmm. color. <sighs> <laughs> in color. Have a look. Yes. In uh, undead color. Undead color. 15. 15? There is writing on the wall along all the edges of that little very narrow shaft. Don't read it. You can't read it. Fuck. There are also some drawings. We'll come back to that. Cave drawings on the wall? Cave drawings. Well, uh, I mean, and, um, cave drawings is, has an added, it has a connotation to it. They are drawings on a cave wall. <laughs> Got it. Okay. You know uh, what I mean, guys, yeah, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, we're here. Arin oh, Elendar, um, go to the Green Mother so that she can see elves when she wakes up. I Maybe it'll to. help. Oh, that's very sweet. And that j- piece of jade. Mm-hmm. Uh, are, I need to know for the next thing I do if you guys are going to do that as I say it. So I know this is upsetting the order, but okay. Canda Crisp, I cast Healing Word on the Green Mother. Oh wait, sorry, no, never mind. Lemon Curd, I cast uh, Mass Healing Word on... Wait, who's injured? You're injured. Me! I'm oh, injured. Can't, can't heal you. I have to ask. Shit. Screw it, I'll do it anyway. Lemon Curd, so it heals uh, me, you, and the Green Mother. Brahma. It's about to find that. Not much. Ugh. We'll do we'll do st- we'll do yours and then we'll do you together as you move over and we do the end result of the heal. All right. Um, for five seasons. Yeah, and I'm gonna go and start wrapping up 
Zup's hands behind him, like so tightly that his hands are bound. Um, so okay. I'm gonna, gonna hog time. Uh, you have rope in your bag? Hmm? With rope? Yeah, I've got rope. They have rope? I'm yeah. just checking. Yeah. Just um, checking. I'm gonna use the rope to hog time. Okay. And I'm gonna make sure that his hands are bound so he can't do anything. And I'm gonna gag him. Bound again. And I dispel silence. <laughs> Just working through the laundry list. <laughs> Rurik's day. Can I ask Check. you a quick question? Yeah. So the druid's unconscious. If I sliced off her ear while she was no. unconscious. <laughs> listen, they're healing spells. <laughs> if I sliced off her ear while she was unconscious, would that wake her up? Or would she just be bleeding from her ear? And she then would kill in... her. No, no, no. Yeah, not going to let you do it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, you, you look over at her ears. As you can just see her pointy ear underneath locks of green and gray hair. It's beautiful. And you're just like, what do you think better of it? Alany? I cover my ears. <laughs> no, no, let, keep, let her see them. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to walk over and grab Zup after he's been bound, pick him up and just slam him against the rock in his seated position, take an arrow, Jam it through his foot. Sexy! <laughs> Feet are connected to his hands. I hogged tied him. Oh, okay. So yeah. straight Sorry, I didn't know oh, okay, cool. that was. Yeah. You want to still stick him to the floor. The but, yeah. his foot and down out the other I want to make sure he can't run away. Even if he does get out, I wanted to make sure he's not going anywhere. <laughs> right. And, uh. Yeah, I don't want I want to hear. I want him to speak. I want him to, you know, but. Can you? He hurt the puppy. I think he'd be screaming instead yeah. of speaking at this point. Can you wake this fucker up? Um, I could heal him, but I don't really want to. I mean, I could slap him around a bit. <laughs> right. Would that work? <laughs> um, we'll come back to trying that. Um, we're going to go over to you guys as the, you have both approached the Green Mother. Yeah. The spell's been cast. Oh, and she regains. Uh, for each of us. What a waste of a third spell. <laughs> Oh, waste. Oh. <gasps> she wakes up. No, I mean, like, it's just five hit points. It just feels so weird. Oh, I see. That's well. Why. That was out of game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sound. Blam. Right. Her eyes open. Her eyes she open. sees the both of you. Uh, my Govanen, Green Mother, I'm assuming. I believe this is yours. And I show her the purple jade doodle fruit. You she sold? recognizes it. I solved your puzzle, and we came as quick as we could. Now, it took her a long time. Uh, I say in Elfin as well. It took her a long time. Not once you were told by Hammerlane how to do it. You know <laughs> oh. Well, I was going to plan it anyway. <laughs> and for the first time, as she attempts to sit up slowly, covered in bruises, still bleeding in places, her hair a mess bruises on her cheeks and she looks at you and speaks for the first time and her voice is like a cold drink on a hot day <sighs> like a snowflake on your tongue <sighs> like the taste of summer berries after a long hard winter and she says I am the leaf I am the tree I am Ruth Rifthana? Rifthana. Huh. Um. <laughs> yes. Uh, in Sullivan, I say, um, we, uh, met your minion? Uh, General Skyrim. Uh, and we promised that we would bring you back to the ruins. Is she still alive? Yes. No thanks to Ellie. But, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they tried to attack us, but we... She looks over towards the pixie on the ground, and as she sees the wings and the small body, tears start to stream down her face. Yeah, that was this prick. Kick him in the side. <laughs> Very sorry for your loss. Now, what can you tell us about this? Meta wing was a very brave pixie. She will be forever remembered. Now, and you'll take me back. We will. But first, 
How did all of this come about? Zup kidnapped you from the prison? Our Harvo now is somehow involved? He seems like a bit of a dick. If we just bring you right back to the Glen and the pyramid place, like... To the Grove. To the Grove. Uh, that's probably not the safest place for you. Is, uh, can we go gather your pixies and, and take you elsewhere? I wish first to go back to the city. The I city. wish to speak to Hamelin in the town. Okay. We will escort uh, you there. Um, we need to do that. We should probably uh, stay here and... What was this little prick asking you about? He has knowledge about the Grove. Hmm. Huh. Do you have knowledge about the Grove? I am the keeper of the Grove. Okay, because I know that there's some very strong illusion magic happening there, and I'm curious as to what that is about. If yes, I am the guardian there. Okay. Did are I you... am protecting that magic. From who? Anyone who would abuse that power. Hmm. What is the power? Yeah. What is the power of this place? It is a rejuvenative place. Hmm. Connected to the god Pareth. Huh. It is a magical place that is not for the unworthy. So speaking of rejuvenation, might I ask you, all of your children of the sea that are running around the city like flakes on the wind, uh, they... Uh, <laughs> kind of flakes of tantra. <laughs> <laughs> but they are bleeding profusely from their nose and the eyes and ears, and something is very much killing them. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? I do not. Show her the rock. Mm, yeah. Uh, also, final question so from the paladin here. Can I eat this? If I eat this, what happens? I suspect you will be filled with the flavor of the seed. Hmm. So it's a seed. <gasps> what if it spreads from you and you become um, an entire tree? Do you recognize this at all? It's the rock from inside the world. <laughs> <laughs> I do not recall. <laughs> no? Okay. There's a there's a well in the city that they're getting all the poor to drink from, especially the children of the sea and others. Uh, and I, we believe that that's poisoning them, maybe, or we can't quite tell. There's no magic at play there that I could find. I would not put it past Hall. He's a very terrible man. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to heal the people of their sickness? Not in my current condition. And I don't know that I would help the people of Elyurin. Okay, just curious, you know. What would you like to talk me? to Hamelin? If she is strong enough to defeat me in battle, then I cannot stand against her again if she comes back. But when I do she... not sense from her that she is evil. Mm -hmm. I think and that she's... her motivations are poor. She's misguided. But we've got her looking into Harl now. Um... Yes, the man who thinks he owns the land that my shrine is focused on. And the man who sent the soldiers to their deaths. Can I hear any of this? Everyone can hear. Oh. Am I kind of half into that little human hole? Uh, if you want to duck farther into it. Okay, I'm just on the outside though. Yeah, you've poked your head in enough to see that there's a bunch of writing on the walls and some drawings that you can't quite make out. Okay. And they're quite old. I'm whipping around back to everyone and I'm yelling out. <laughs> the well said! Not life, only death! Down with Harl! And then I fist pump in the air and then I run into the, <laughs> I run into the human hole and I disappear into the darkness. Okay, as you go far, it's very narrow and eventually becomes that you would have to sort of shimmy along just to get through it. And the writing subsides. Okay, so I'm- You can I'm smell fresh air coming from, as though this is probably going to lead you out of the mine. Okay, well, I don't need to go that way. We already have an entrance. But I, I want to get Sano in there with me to read the, yeah. You travel through. Do you want to pop, pop back out and call for him? Yeah, and I pop my head back out. Sano, come here! Uh, yeah, okay, what, uh, what's in there? Writing, mysterious writing on the walls and drawings on the cave. Okay, wall. I'm there. All right, okay. I figured that would so be right So we're going to use... Do a little bit of, with the, but just a little bit with you guys as you move over to the cave wall, and then we'll do that. Okay, so back at the Green Mother, uh, you two are with Zup, kind of c calling a, 
calling, but talking across the dead pixie on the floor yeah. towards the two of you with the Green Mother as she slowly pulls herself to a stand, and she's quite tall for an elf. I, I help her up mm-hmm. as best I can. She care. graciously takes your assistance, and her long, slender hands pat you both. As she wants to stand on her own two feet. I bow. If we're going to get her back to speak to Hamelaine. Well, we don't have to go back. If we can take, uh, I believe, uh, about eight hours, I can communicate with Hammerlane from here. Or from the Grove. It doesn't matter where I am, I can send it around the entire world. All right. Can you change I don't state? think we have eight hours. Like, it's midday, we gotta be back. Oh, right. can she change Ready. shape, though? But if we're gonna get her into the town... Oh, yeah. We're you gonna have to... an animal? Thank you. <laughs> I or actually something? can. We when can a, a non I have the ability, I am currently exhausted of magic. Mm. Yeah, me too, mostly. I have been in the presence of that awful music box mm. for many hours. Who has that? Zion. Uh, All right, well then we're gonna have to disguise you. Because the moment any of those guards see her, they are going to cause all sorts of trouble for us and get hauled back out into the mix and everything. I just think it would be best to avoid that. We still have the s- seal from her. Mm-hmm. Wait, I pop back out of my little cave. <laughs> We're going over to you guys next, so okay. you pop out. I pop out. Did I hear a disguise? <laughs> I have a disguise kit, and I have a fancy sequined robe. I can make her into anything. True. I can also just take my paladin flap off my back and put it around her. Oh, it's not big enough, for heaven's sake. I've got a fancy robe and I've got a disguise. Wait, do you keep your paladin anything. flap on your back? My paladin flaps are my tabard and my cape. They flap in the wind. Paladin flaps. Yes. So that's, while that's this very important distinction is happening, as you describe that, we are inside the little cave at the back of the mine. Seno also pops in. Not that uncomfortable, standing next to the undead vampire, blood all over her face still. I'm fine. <laughs> You're all like, meh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. First, you notice there's a bunch of writing on the wall. Mm-hmm. What's it say? It's written in Infernal. <gasps> so no, this is your language. Yeah, I can, I can read and speak Infernal. Tell right, you can. It's... I mean, I can read everything. I was his room keeper. That's right. As room it's but very old. I can speak in front of And it so. is probably rubbed off of the wall for most eyes, but you guys are able to pick it out in the dark. <laughs> you pick it out in the dark just fine. You notice a couple of interesting symbols. They are large red feathered wings and a helmet with horns. And the writing in Infernal says, First souls to feed her ravenous army then a vessel to carry her sword to lead us. This looks decades old, at least. You're very familiar with how blood scraped onto a wall <laughs> with some paint to help, and how long that would last with the ravages of time. And you would guess somewhere between 30 to 50 years have passed since that was written on the walls. Okay, this one's pretty new for cave writing. And what's it say again? <laughs> First souls to feed her ravenous army, then a vessel to carry her sword and lead us. I'll put that in your notes. Yay. Time is so ravaging. You can both, having seen these symbols, roll history for me. Right. Advantage. Yes. <laughs> Not for me. Right. Not for you. 19. Oh. 13. Oh, great. <laughs> so, you think that the wings could be Asimar related, maybe? Mm. You've seen an Asimar? I certainly have. Mm-hmm. Mama Kafluti, or Lady... Madame Vereen? That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Kafluti. Mama not... Kafluti. <laughs> so close. Okay, back to Seno, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, you actually think about the... <laughs> infernal writing and connecting it to the history of some devils. <laughs> and you think about Arrhenius, a type of devil. 
They're beautiful. Can be male or female. They're fierce warriors. E R I N Y E S. I was Can you not. use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Get your uh, our, my research is like is downstairs right now. <laughs> everyone Time pronounces it differently. Um, okay. Fierce warriors. They often wear armor. Their armor often has horns, especially on the helms. They all will often also carry uh, ropes or lassoes. Mm. Uh, I'd like to just. Uh, generally investigate if there's anything else I can find in here um, other than words. Roll your investigation and hold on to it for me while we go back out to the team. I'm going to look too. You, uh, you say the grove. You say the grove is a place of rejuvenation. Would that replenish your spell casting abilities and maybe mine? Uh, and mine. Mm. So this is yours. I'll hand it back to you. You didn't do this. It is often said that when someone comes upon it, they need it. Is this about your drinking? Uh, <laughs> I knew it! This whole thing was an intervention! I'm out! <laughs> I meant Never R go for brunch at Aunt May's! Sorry. I meant R in that bed. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. <laughs> it is true. Uh, thank you. If we go back to the shrine, we could all be rejuvenated together. Mm. However, I need to find a guarantee so that it is safe again and that there will be no more humans coming knocking at the door. Uh, I, looking to I, destroy it. I say in, um, in Elven, um, they will take their time to reach the state of mind that I already understand. I know what it is to protect one's home. I will escort you and protect you until you are heard. Yeah. Oh, that was an elvish crap. <laughs> All right. Huh? Well then, catch that. I think, I anything. think we should help her. Oh yeah. Agreed. She connects eyes with you, and she just nods. Um, There's more seeds than so you, seed. So you'd rather get to Hammer Lane than go back to the Grove. But you can't turn into any animals to we can just sneak you in. We yeah, should not. Should. No, it's fine. I have the kit. Maybe. This will sound strange coming from me, but we shouldn't hide the, this one. It is for me to be in the silence and the darkness, but when a statement must be made, it must be made loudly and yes. clearly. I'm just saying, on a practical level, if we walk through those gates with the Green Mother at our side... Then we've done our job. Yes, but then the guards come and we have to kill them while they try to take her. Well, no. hold on. We it was, need to it escort was, her. It was Harl who wanted us to capture her. And we agreed, but we weren't going to do it for him. And now he's under investigation, so he probably holds no authority. Hammerlane does. Yes. So we could go just outside the city and send someone in. Excellent time. Excellent. And what will you all do with him? She points toward Zup's tied-up body. And Frankly, I do have some I questions. I think you should decide. And we'll find out what happens! Oh yeah, no, I'm going to drag him along. <laughs> uh, Kick him occasionally. Oh, you guys! So much information! Hmm? Jesse is regretting wanting that part. <laughs> <laughs> right? Seriously. You got knocked the fuck mm -hmm. out! <laughs> and spit on. I'm going to take your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> My shoes. 